Welcome to autumn in New York. The colors around here are legendary and every year thousands of tourists like me take a trip to go leaf peeping and enjoy the views. But what makes a forest full of green leaves go from yellow, orange, red to then dead? The answer has to do with a leaf's purpose. It is the food making factory for the tree. Each leaf takes in CO2 from the air, water from the ground, and the power of sunlight to create things like sugars and starch, with a byproduct of the oxygen we breathe in that process known as photosynthesis. Those sugars then go through the branch into the tree to feed the plant as a whole. Now the chemical in these leaves that pulls off this magic trick of turning sun into sugar is called chlorophyll. It's active throughout the spring and summer and reflects the color green, which we see. Now, when autumn comes around, the trees take cues from the dropping temperatures and shorter days and slowly stop making food to hunker down for the winter. The chlorophyll slowly stops being made. And once that happens, we see it. These other colored chemicals called carotenoids that have been there all along but outshined by the bright green gradually start to appear. Which gets us to yellow and even orange. But red, red is a special color. When it is crisp and sunny out, sugars are still being made, but they can't leave the leaf because the leaf is being sealed off to the rest of the tree in prep for the winter. So these sugars build up and end up getting converted into anthocyanins, which give us some really ridiculously good looking colors. And when the leaf's life of feeding the tree is done, the tree closes off its fluttering connection to the outside world and releases it giving the leaf that one brief defining flight from being high amongst the giants to a crunch on the ground.